everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming at you with... Whoa, that car looked like it was going to drive off the road. What's up there? Someone needs to stop looking at their phone when they're driving. Don't text and drive. It's the law. <laughs> I think it's the law. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's the law. Anyways, so today is a moto vlog in specific. A moto vlog for the Yamaha Zoom 158cc. Previously 125, recently upgraded. I am releasing this after the first test start. So, what does that mean? That means that this video, it is already built. But I cannot do any real testing until after I've done the break-in period. So, I wanted to kind of go over a little bit, you know, might as well do it while I'm doing a motor vlog, as far as some of the the uh, the break-in that I'm doing on this bike. So, number one, I'm breaking in the bike by one, driving it or riding it a bazillion miles. Yay! Everybody rides a bazillion miles when you do a break-in period. So, one of the rules I was given was not to go over 60 miles per hour. Uh, I could still go, you know, throttle it and all that stuff, but I'm not allowed to go over 60 miles per hour. Alright, easy enough. I'm not supposed to stay at a specific, well, a single throttle position for more than three seconds. So, meaning I go like this. One, two, three. Change it. Higher. One, two, three. Come on. And then idle. All right. Easy enough. Uh, and then another thing that I did, <clears throat> which was kind of a frustrating thing for me, uh, I went to go and uh, buy some high zinc oil, break in oil, right? Motor break in oil. I looked all over uh, Amazon. I was going to buy a whole bunch, or not a whole bunch. I really only needed 80. 850 milliliters of it to fill this thing and nothing I could not find anything with 850 milliliters <laughs> or at least no one knew what I was talking about so when I say no one knew what I was talking about I went to AutoZone and I'm like I need break-in oil with high zinc content it's good for uh, valve train cam and all that stuff it's all brand new I want to put all this stuff inside of here make it run like a dream right so they said, I don't know what you're talking about. So I started looking through all the oil, especially oil, nothing. I, and I just, and I ended up just leaving. I was like, I know Amisol has a break-in oil and uh, their regular oil is pretty high in zinc. You have that? No. Okay, fine, bye. Blah, 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 blah. So I went over to um, O'Reilly's and there was a young guy behind the counter and I was like, man, I don't have a lot of hope for this. And, uh, oh yeah, can't go faster than 60, can't go faster than 60. I saw a, uh, young guy behind the counter and I was like, hey, do you have any break-in oil? He's like, what? I was like, you know, break-in oil, high zinc content, after you rebuild a motor, you put break-in oil so, you know, everything sets correctly and is strong and, and everything. I have no idea what you're talking about. And then... This old guy in the background, not old guy, okay, he's probably my age, I mean, realistically being, considering how old I am. Uh, he said, yes, we do have that, and he showed me a, uh, and he showed me a, uh, a thing of some type of Lucas break-in stuff, and it wasn't really oil, a break-in oil. It was a break-in oil additive where you use regular oil and you put that stuff in it and it adds the high zinc content into it. Which is exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> if you want me to be honest with you. So, I got that. I put it in the bike and I have been riding it ever since. Uh, I don't know, I think I'm at about 100 miles so far. Uh, it was the end of the last tank and this full tank right here was the new stuff so all I have to do is just keep driving it for maybe about four tanks four tanks should get me about five hundred miles or so uh, anyways that's where I'm at now well you know actually also at the same time you can't hear it now but for a little bit it was ticking really loud and I let my brother drive it which is a whole nother story right now 
but right now I, I, I drove it and uh, my uh, brother's riding and I said hey did you happen to notice the valves ticking he's like yeah it's really loud so I thought you know what perhaps I did the valve uh, lash incorrectly so that's what I did today I took the motor apart and did the valve lash and it was way off way way off <laughs> and then uh, so I did the valve lash set it rolled the motor uh, over or turned the crank checked it checked it checked it and then after that I uh, checked the exhaust side the exhaust side was good so it was the intake side that I had messed up somehow um, so now I'm, I'm riding on a, a redo of the valves on the on the bike uh, you know to be honest with you I don't remember it ticking at all and the uh, old uh, stock configuration but at the same time um, I didn't uh, I have a performance cam in here too <laughs> just as a reminder it was a cylinder um, a piston piston rings uh, new cam and new injector oh and another and another story while I'm at it <laughs> I don't know how many people are gonna actually hear this but if you know or if you figure out where I live all right please like go to my YouTube page and there's a phone number okay text me or something saying hey can I come over and take a picture yeah that's cool that's fine most of the time I'll say yes unless I'm just not home don't scare me because <laughs> I saw a Honda Navi sitting in front of my house and about uh, and uh, I realized that I had seen it on the road earlier a few days ago and I guess and and, and the kid I, you know I, and it's pretty obvious where I live uh, from my videos so he was able to find my house and then come visit and, and, and take a picture which was cool right you know who doesn't want to like take a picture of a youtuber that they watch um, but just don't like try to try at least try to message me and ask me or something first don't don't scare me but he was Filipino which made it even easier for me to say hey yeah cool because he sounds like my entire family when he was talking plus he had a son who's 14 who also is a gamer so cool but anyways that's what I wanted to update you on this I still have plastics coming in but the plastics aren't gonna come into the end of April so by the time I create the last video of the series well the last video of the build series there'll be a follow-up one um then uh what was i guess uh, 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 oh yeah and then there'll be a, a follow-up video but the last series i really need the engine broken in so that i could like just really lay into the gas pedal uh, i can already tell you that the improvements that need to be made in here uh are gonna have to be cvt related because just quite honestly <laughs> This thing is super torquey. Like, if you own a one uh, a 125 and they make a kit for you, like a 2009 to... Where are you going? 2009 or whatever. I think they make it for a pretty wide range of the EFI kits. Um, and you have the ability to do it. it <laughs> I'm telling you now, it is the best mod that you will ever put on this bike. So, like, seriously, visit the website put it in a cart and buy it if you if you've watched the videos and that looks like something that you can do that's great that's cool um, I also talked to my brother and he said that we could do it for people but it's gonna be one-offs you're gonna have to leave your bike with us for a couple of weeks to do the to do the upgrade and it's not gonna be free uh, but we'll discuss that um, if you wanted to so if you want to do it you live in the Houston and you want to send it over here I really would like to do another one um, and put all the the stuff I did into another one also and when I say when we would do it we'll also do the intake mod that I did where I filed it down and, and then stuff like that to make uh, make the airflow a little bit better on it and probably give it a little bit more power you never know anyways I've been talking like a blabbermouth for like forever now. <clears throat> so
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Thank you for watching this break-in video for the Yamaha Zuma. Uh, my brothers agreed to also help me drive it a whole bunch to get that 500 miles in. And then uh, we'll go ahead and start that last video. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see everybody in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.